morning. All right, we got a whole mess load of Duncan. We got two Duncan orders. They sent me one. One for six dollars going like 1.8 miles or something. I don't know, it wasn't really going anywhere. And then a minute later, another six dollars for another 0.9 miles. Let's get started. All right, first one dropped off, DoorDash hiding 50 cents. All right, I finally got an Instacart. It is like almost two in the afternoon. I, I've been doing stuff around the house. I haven't seen it. I mean, I've seen lots of orders just all over the place, nothing close. This one's like 13 something going two miles, 12 or 15 items, I don't remember. But there's a promo for a guaranteed $8, so I get like an extra two bucks on this one also. So that's cool, I guess. got another Instacart, $19.97, going 3.8 miles, 33 items, two customers. It's very slow today. I got a DoorDash after doing the Instacart. It's 950. I think it was five. Five miles, maybe it was six. I don't know. I gotta work it. I gotta get some money. Alright, we played super dirty multi-app. Right as I was picking up that last DoorDash. I got this Instacart, it's 28 bucks. It says it's going four miles, and I think it was 39 items. So kind of a big order for not $30, but it's okay, we need to make some money. And the reason I say it says it's going four miles is because it wants me to go to the giant that's further away, I'm closer to the one giant, and the customer is in between both the giants, so it doesn't really matter which giant I shop at. It'll be less miles for me if I shop at the one that I'm closer to, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, got that Instacart dropped off, and I was putting the groceries at the door, then the guy came out, and he was like, oh, I delivered to the wrong house, so can you set them by my car? Done. So we got this Instacart right here, $37.72, going 5.1 miles, two customers, 44 items, 49 units. After dropping off that Instacart, I signed into DoorDash and I got this one. Yeah, it's 22 bucks going 12 miles. I don't like the 12 mile part, but the 22 buck part I like, so that's why we're doing it. Ryan. Right. 
Thank you. It's all good. All right, I got screwed picking up that DoorDash. It took like 15 minutes to get the order ready. And then, you know, you're supposed to be able to unassign penalty free after 10 minutes, but that only happens when you're willing to wait for the order. It never happens when you want to, you know, cancel the order. Cause this is gonna take me more than 30 minutes, but 22 bucks, that's not too bad. But then you gotta account for the 15 minute drive back after I'm done, so. Uh... Man, $15 tip on a DoorDash. I mean, it was quite the drive, but I'll take it. All right, Tuesday morning now. I uh, just got an Instacart. It was like 20 bucks, 20 items, 2.3 miles. Then they added another one on, which I don't know, only a handful of times have I ever accepted an add-on, but this one was another 10 bucks for another 14 items for another 1.3 miles. So that makes the orders together like 30 bucks. 34 items, 3.6 miles. Still a good order. address a couple questions I got in the last video or maybe they're just statements I don't know what they were first one the person said they can't believe I'm doing five and six dollar DoorDash runs in the morning I mean if it's slow and you're not doing an Instacart why not do something to keep you busy if it's two dollars per mile I, I'm cool with it you know they normally take 10 15 minutes 20 minutes if it takes forever to get the food and you can still get an Instacart and accept it while you're doing a DoorDash. That's how I see it, you know? Maybe you don't see it that way, that's fine. And the other person left me a comment saying, why don't you separate your items? I separate every item on every order. You'd be crazy. I've seen people before where they get to the checkout and then they're looking at which order, don't do all that. Separate them, so that way you can be quick. All right, I got another Instacart. It is 35 bucks, 6.2 miles, shopping for two customers, 27 items. I have to shop at Food Lion, and then I have to go to Giant, but then they both like drop off past Giant. So, sucks having to go to two stores, but the routing is okay. Pulling up to the giant. All right, got the first Instacart off. They were considerate. They ordered nothing but drinks. So that was good that they went the two store thing because they didn't have anything that was cold or perishable. Anyway, dude gave me $5 when I uh, dropped off. So that's always good. Let's drop the second one off. All right, next Instacart we got here, $14.43, going 3.7 miles, $10 even tip. I've delivered to this customer a bunch of times, and after I dropped it off, they added $3 in tip. 
All right, got another Instacart. It is 20 bucks, going half a mile, 29 items. Pretty easy. Instacart. Okay, I'll open the door. Thank you. All right, we're working late. It's about 8.45 at night. Just got this one, $42, 4.5 miles, 56 items, two customers. that's gonna do it for this one thank you guys very much for watching if you have not click on the shoe watch the suggested video or just tune in monday wednesday friday 9 p.m new video take it easy